Today we're doing a service on a Holden Opal Astra. It's got the 1.8 litre motor in it. 2006 model. And this one's got a dipstick on it, so you can actually check the oil level via the dipstick. I've spoken to the customer, this uh, transmission, there's a bit of an issue when it's in top gear, uh, warmed right up. So I'm just going to do all the basic checks first. You can see that on the dipstick it actually recommends the Dextron fluid, do not overfill. And they're tested to at 80 degrees, or not over 80 degrees, you've got the minimum and maximum mark. And on the other side at 20 degrees, minimum and maximum. You can see how much the oil will actually expand as it warms up. So from here, where my thumb is, that's a high cold mark, up to there, which is probably about an inch. Or not quite an inch, but yeah, probably be an inch. So it's important to get that right as well. And you can also see there's a little bit of rust on the dipstick, which can cause issues in the transmission. If it's coolant entering from the uh, transmission cooler, oil cooler, then uh, that can get into the clutch linings and band linings and cause this surface rust to, to peel the linings off, off the clutches and off the bands. Um, you'll end up with metal to metal. Um, another way it can enter through the transmission is if somebody's washed it. It doesn't look that clean to me so I doubt that it's been washed and entered the transmission that way. I've got to point that out to the customer as well. You can see the rust um, is right up at the top there as well. And that would be from the steaming effect as the transmission warms up. That's where it's going to rust as well. So it's from about oh, a bit under half, half the way up the, the, fillet, uh, the dipstick up to right up to the top there. And if it hasn't done too much damage in the transmission, the way to fix coolant going into the, ra uh, into the transmission is to either replace the radiator or the heat exchanger, or what's better is to put a completely separate transmission oil cooler on the, on the vehicle. That'll help keep the transmission oil cool as well. What happens when the seals overheat, whether it's due to towing, or stop start driving or uh, an internal pressure leak problem uh, which causes the transmission to overheat uh, the little rubber seals inside the transmission harden so they crystallize and harden when that happens then they can't seal as effectively as they should so a chain reaction will cause the transmission to, to pack up eventually so Transmission oil coolers, coolers are always a good idea. We always bypass the radiator or heat exchanger, so there's no chance of any coolant um, or water getting into the transmission unless you flood the vehicle or get it in there from washing. Let's do a quick scan of this, uh, just to make sure it's, we're not getting any solenoid codes on it. If you've looked under the under the dash there to find the ABD plug, you probably haven't found it. But where it's actually located is over here where the, where the handbrake is, under the handbrake. And you just pop that little plastic cover off and you can see the ABD plug just here. And we'll just do a quick scan, see if we can get any codes. No codes found, that's on the generic scan, and I'll try the, the vehicle specific scan, sometimes that'll find codes. And I'm on the uh, European Opal, you can see we've got a fault code in the engine. Uh, the next one's a transmission. So I've got a whole 
whole series of fault codes. We'll just check the transmission one. Communication there. So no communication with the transmission, so what I might do is just check all the electrical connections there, make sure that's okay. Uh, always good to check if there's an earth strap that there's, there's no high resistance there between the earth strap and the, or between the transmission and the, the body of the vehicle. And also make sure that your battery's fully charged and strong. I do all those basic checks first and then we'll try that again later. And these transmissions have got the AF series, I think it's an AF17 transmission, or some vehicle in some manufacturers call it the Asian Warner 6040 series transmissions. So they don't actually have a, a pan, it's just drain the oil out sometimes. If you need to replace a solenoid, it is quite a large job though, to get up in here and take that front cover off to get access to it. But they seal them up pretty well and there's no, no way you can replace the filter in it either. Some people put an inline oil filter on the transmission uh, cooler return line. 10 mil Allen key. And we just take the plug off. The oil is pretty dark in that you can see it's pretty black. Drained all the oil out. Um, when you're draining the oil out, because it's got a filler tube or a fill plug it's always a good idea to just blow a bit of air through there you'll just get a, an extra bit of oil coming out and hopefully along with that um, oil coming out any muck that's settled in the bottom of the, the case there will come out with it just another little hint you can do and that's basically it there's not much else we can do on these so I'm going to go ahead and just check the electrical plug and just make sure the connection there is good. Okay, I'm on the uh, Penrite website and it recommends the full synthetic or the multi-vehicle semi-synthetic fluid for it. Even though it, on the dipstick it says uh, the Dextron equivalent fluid on the website they recommend this so choice is yours uh, that's probably the top quality one there the full synthetic or you could go the semi-synthetic just back from the road test pretty cold day so a bit hard to get it up to 80 degrees we're on about 60 degrees there. I'm a little bit over full. So I'm just going to suck a little bit of oil out. And uh, job's done. Anyway, I hope you got some information out of it. Thank you for watching.